guys, welcome back to our channel. We're the Garza Twins. I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. If you're new here, we would love it if you would subscribe down below. And today we're going to be doing a get ready with us. Um, we love doing these and we haven't done one in a while. And we've talked about quite a few products that you guys haven't seen us actually use. Yeah. So we just wanted to do this and just chat. And Luna's here. You can see She's her. here. And it's a little bit dark outside. So hopefully mm -hmm. this video isn't too dark. But let's get started. Yeah. Okay, so I'm starting with my Charlotte Tilbury corrector as always. Um, I'm not actually using a primer today because I'm going to use that as well and it's so glowy that I feel like you don't need one. <laughs> Luna is right on my lap. This is making it difficult. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. We've raved about this mm -hmm. in probably like four videos. We yeah. love it so much. They actually sent this to us when it first launched, but I will be repurchasing. I know it's expensive. It's like $46, but it is phenomenal. You really do have to shake it. Like, yeah, and I'm it. using the shade ST6. Um, it's Aura. This one is Seven Diaz. Um, I'm actually mixing it. I just repurchased the L'Oreal Infallible stop. Freshwear Foundation in the shade 425 uh, Linen. I love this. This is my favorite drugstore foundation and I ran out of it and hadn't repurchased it. So I decided to repurchase it. And so today I'm mixing the two um, because I love the dewiness of the Ilia, but I love the long wear of this L'Oreal foundation. So I thought it would be nice to mix the two together. Um, I'm just using the Ilia by itself. So if you guys are curious, you can see how it goes on and how it works. Um, I always use my hands. I don't like it with a brush or a sponge. I, we love Casey Holmes, and she actually uses a sponge, and I don't, I don't know how. I feel like it's so well up because all I think she product. builds it up where we don't really do that. Yeah. You know? Um, I just put it on the back of my hand like this. I put three to four drops, and then I rub it in. And it's really yeah, easy. when I use it on my own, I also just use my hands. But since I'm mixing it with the L'Oreal, I've never used my hands with this foundation, so because it's an actual foundation. And looking at the color, I feel like it looks a little yellow, and the um, Ilia is more on like the cool tone side, so I was hoping that would like make the color match better, but if they look yellow, just excuse. I also saw that Ilia posted that they're going to be expanding the shade range for this oh, line. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Um, I think they were That's asking great. like opinions on what they, like people thought they were missing. Which is great that they. I mean, I also listen. feel like that's kind of standard of um, brands, like especially with complexion. Like, obviously, you should be launching enough shades for everyone mm -hmm. to try it. But I do think like maybe they weren't prepared for the success that they had with it. Yeah, I think it's changing though. So I think that yeah. now people will be um, launching things more upfront. I've yeah. recently started using a different moisturizer. And I really love it. I'm going to put it in our weekly favorites. But I can see that it's actually pilling with this, which is really weird because I've used it all week, hmm. the two together. Did you just put moisturizer on? No, it's been like an hour. Oh. Um, then I've used them all week together and I have not experienced this. So I don't know what's happening. If you see these kind of like... I'm just going to start I, um, pressing. Yeah. I just started using Retin-A again. It took me forever. Like we... I got the job that I'm currently at um, back in last August and so I had to switch insurance companies so I had to get a new dermatologist and um, I it just took me so long and then with COVID and everything I wasn't able to go see her but I got a new dermatologist and then I refilled my Retin-A prescription and I feel like my skin is purging a little bit because of it. Like I have these really deep set blemishes but it's fine. Worth it in the long run. Obviously I'm using Shape Tape a tried and true um, and you guys know I love to mix it with the Joa what is this called the dark circle corrector concealer I saw one of you said you purchased this per my recommendation and loved it and I love this stuff I feel like it's so fluid and lightweight and it really like it makes the under eyes look so smooth so I love to mix it with this shape tape because shape tape is obviously super full coverage and matte so I feel like the two together is like my perfect concealer and I'm using the one I've been raving about again in like every video the Kosas Revealer Concealer I love this I have the shade 3 um, and I feel like I'm gonna have to repurchase soon because I use it every day it is the only concealer that doesn't make my under eyes look dry besides Glossier Stretch and it's actually pretty full coverage I'm gonna use a brush to blend it out this is the Sephora Pro airbrush detail. I never use sponges anymore. So. I actually love that concealer too. I wear it when I'm not setting my concealer. Today I'm going to set it because I want to try this Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath powder on camera because I just don't know how I feel about it still. So I want you guys to help <laughs> help me decide. Yeah, I definitely um, won't be. And that one I can't that. set for whatever reason. It just like doesn't look good when I set it. So I'm just going to use my tried and true combination today. Um, but yeah, I don't. If you have you guys tried this Pat McGrath? 
under eye setting powder. I feel like so many people raved about it. It gets really good reviews. And I don't know why. I like feel like I can't get it to work for me. Do you feel yeah. like I, we both bought it during the Sephora sale because it was getting really good reviews. Yeah. And um, we just like the idea of having like a small pressed powder. You can like travel with it. But I feel like it does nothing. No. I'm it's like it's a beautiful powder, but I feel like yeah. you put it on and within like 10 minutes, like the shine is already back. So it's kind of like why I even bother. It's so, you can see like all the kickback, which also doesn't bother me. Um, but yeah, I feel like also I try to use this with a sponge and it... I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it like makes my under eyes look darker. Like I think it oxidizes upon application. I haven't heard anyone else mention this, um, but when I tried it with a sponge, I felt like it looked better, but it was even darker. And then it went away, but it's just such a strange powder. So I'm just curious if you guys have tried this, what your thoughts are. Do you have any tips and tricks on how to use it properly? Like maybe I'm doing it wrong, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm using that under my eyes today. Wish me luck. Okay, I'm going to use our favorite Hourglass Translucent Powder um, to lightly set my face. I'm going to do that too, but first I'm going to go in with the Tarte Cream Bronzer. Um, I wanted to show you guys how... Oh, my oh yeah, I'm going to use a cream blush, but I actually have used it over powder and it worked fine. So I'm just going to powder first. I'm going to use my beloved Real Techniques... 220 brush. This is the light layer complexion with my Tarte Seashells Breezy Cream Bronzer because I've talked about this combination. So as you can see, I literally, hopefully you can see this, I just dab a little bit because it's a stipple brush and then I just go in and it just blends out so effortlessly. It's crazy. Um, and you saw like I only really set my under eye so there's no powder on like this part of my face right now. Um, but I usually just do both cheeks. I kind of use it in like a contour bronzer combination. Like I put it in the hollows of my cheeks. And then I just take a little more and go along my hairline. Um, and then I'm going to go over it with a powder bronzer just to intensify. Be super bronzed. We were going to lay out this wow. weekend. And then it's a cloudy day. But you guys know I love a cloudy day. So. Uh, not really though. We have a lot to do. It's very hard to find motivation. We do. So hopefully you can tell how that just really like brings life to the skin in a really, really natural way. And it was so quick. So this is what I've been doing on a daily basis with just like that Ilia product. Um, but today I'm doing more of like a full look because I just miss putting on all the makeup. <laughs> but it's okay. Okay, I am using, what did you use the Ilia too? No, I'm going to use the Jouer, but, um, okay, I'm, I'm using the Ilia Drawn In Night Light Bronzing Powder. Um, we talked about how much we love this as well in basically every video. Yeah. We really realized that, like, um, we talked about all these new products that we've been loving, and we haven't shown you guys, like, how I we know. use them or how these looks come together, so I just wanted to really use them on camera and reiterate how much we love them. I actually don't think I've been on such a stride with products in a long time. It could be because of COVID, so there's less releases, but I feel like I usually kind of like switch around and I'll be like, ooh, I want to try this, I want to do this. I but do like, switch around. I've used this bronzer months Me on too. end. I've used this highlighter that I'm using months on end. Um, the powder, the Ilia, like the concealer, everything has been consistent. Me too, except for blushes. I still change up blushes yeah, all the time. Yeah, me too. I'm using like a brand new one. And this I like too. rotate my blushes heavily because I love blush so much. Yeah. Um, oh, here it is over here. Yeah, I'm going up. Oh my God. Okay, I'll just leave that there. I feel like I do that in every single video. Like, why can't I just hold a brush normally? I'm going in with the Jouer Light to Medium Bronzer Duo. I love this. I haven't used it in a while, and I saw someone use it in a video or on Instagram. Someone talked about it. I can't even remember who it was. Um, but this is so pretty. I love the tone of it. I love the formula. So I'm just going to be extra bronzed today going over that cream bronzer. Okay, for my blush, I'm going to use, um, these are the new Patrick Ta blush duos. Um, this is the shade, what is it, She's So LA. Mm -hmm. um, it's like the brown one, which you guys know we love like brown, rosy blushes. This is more of like a brown, red base we blush. We love brown, rosy, anything. Lip yeah. liner, lipstick. Um, I'm going to use the cream and the powder. So I'm going in with the cream with my favorite e.l.f. brush, which I talked about in our, what was it? Monthly favorites, weekly favorites. Um, I actually forgot what this is called, but it's one that looks like this. It's like the e.l.f. stipple brush. It's $10 at Target or Ulta. 
So I'm just gonna dab into the cream. Oh, sorry. And then I'm gonna dab on my hand and then go in. And just dab it on. This cream like blush actually has some like shimmer in it, which at first I was like, ooh, I'm not gonna like that, but I actually do. It looks really pretty on the skin. I don't know if you can hear Luna, but I feel like she's tiptoeing around causing trouble. Yeah. <laughs> um, by the way, do you guys like my shirt? How cute is this? It's a t-shirt from H&M and it has all the signs on it. I just thought it was cute and not like a tacky Zodiac shirt, you know? Okay, I'm actually using the All May Healthy Hue blush in the shade Nearly Nude. I'm sure we've used this on camera before. Yeah, we have. We've but used I, it multiple times. Okay, I couldn't remember, and you guys know how much we, like, literally rave about these blushes. And I love the peach color, but I don't know what I'm doing with my eyes, so I thought this was a safe choice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's such a good blush. Um, and it's funny because I, like, we love cream blushes, so I was so excited for the cream part. But I'm also duo. so picky about them. Yeah, um... And I do love the cream portion, like you can see that's beautiful and I would leave it like this, but the powder is actually amazing. I like the powder more, yeah. Me too, it's so stunning, especially this color um, and just the pigmentation level is perfect. It's also shimmery, which sometimes I don't like for blush, but it's just beautiful, it's just beautiful. Also so. talc for you guys. Yeah, so I'm layering it on top. Okay, and then I'm going in with the Ilia highlighter, Decades, you know the drill. This is the only highlighter I use now. I know, oh, I'm gonna use highlighter. it too. I use some creams, but yeah, it's like that oh, my eyebrows are so bad. <laughs> I'm getting them done soon. I just didn't realize how much I was seemingly breaking out until we started filming this video. Yeah, the Does lights are not forgiving. I probably look like a clown. I probably put on so much blush and I just can't tell. Yeah, but it's me too. It's fine. She looks at me and says, "Yeah." Oh, this is so pretty. I love this. Love this so far. Okay. Um. Yes, Ilia highlighter. Best highlighter basically ever. I don't know what magic they did to this. MAC Fix Plus Fan Sponge. Oh, I actually do want to bring that up. That I usually always set, like spray my face with MAC Fix Plus. You guys know this. And the one that told Britta to buy it. It's just the best setting spray. But since using the Ilia product, which is like dripping, it, that's my thing. <laughs> it gets so messy. Yeah. Um, but it's so dewy that I actually haven't been using a setting spray in a. It's fine. Yeah, it's just because I mixed it with yeah the L'Oreal, which usually in the summer it's not very matte on me, but I feel like my skin's kind of dry right now because I just turned a retin-A again, so I just like them added do. Mm -hmm. Okay, pretty pretty. Okay. Oh my god. Ooh, I feel like I look sun-kissed. That's why I really like about the Patrick Todd duo. It's like that red undertone, at least on our skin tone. Um, it kind of just looks sun-kissed and like, like a little sunburned. I like it. Um, what okay. are you doing with your eyes? Yeah, I'm going to use this eyeshadow that I've talked about that is discontinued seemingly, but I have to use it. It's the best. It's um, MAC Paint by Umber. If you can find it, it's part of their, I think it's their Loud and Clear collection. If you can find it anywhere. <laughs> what is she I don't doing? know what she's doing. Are you okay? I highly recommend it. It's the prettiest like deep peach shade. It was an Anna edit recommendation. I actually laughed so hard because I was telling Britta that I literally purchase every single eyeshadow she recommends um, because we just have such similar taste when it comes to eyeshadow, well, most products. Um, she's standing up, you guys. I wish you could see this. I hope she's okay. Are you okay? Are you hungry? <laughs> um, and she posted a quad on her Instagram, and I had literally purchased every single one, and I commented, and she liked it. I said I bought every uh, one of those eyeshadows as per your recommendation. Um, so have you seen this one today? It's such a pretty color. I'm actually using the Ilia Cool Nude Palette. I don't use this one as much as the Warm Nude, so I decided to break it out. I love this like purpley shade in here. I think it's called Just, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I feel like on the eyes, it looks more like a cool toned brown. I mean, you guys tell me it could look purple and I'm just not seeing it, but I just think it's really flattering for like a purple toned shade. Um, and then I'm gonna go over it with, actually I'm just kind of winging this to be honest. I think I'm gonna go over it with my favorite brown shade in the Lawless, the, ooh, the little one palette. You guys know I use this palette every day, which is why it looks wrecked like this. She just launched blushes too. I'm curious about them. And now we the thought the Phoenix looks shade nice. looked pretty. Yeah. You guys have tried those. And she's having her baby soon. So mm -hmm. exciting. It looks like she moved into another beautiful home. Yeah. Annie Lawless, the founder of Lawless. We like following her. Yeah. 
Um, so see, I feel like once I added the brown on top, it just like blends really well, but you can still tell there's like two shades at play. I don't know, I just really like the look of it. Um, and I feel like overall, my makeup was a bit more, well, not really on the cool tone, more neutral. But. Okay, I'm also going to use this, um, I don't know what you call it, like an eye crayon that I talked about in a weekly favorites. It's from the Siest Moi <laughs> line. Um, which is a completely natural brand. It's the Visionary Makeup Crayon in the shade Chocolate. And I picked this up on Target.com and I've just been liking lining my eyes and then I'll blend it out with like a fluffier but more like pencil brush. Um, and then I'm going to go in, let's see. Which brush do I want to use? This one. I'm going to go into the Wallace palette again um, and take like this chestnut color shade. I don't know, Bonfire? No. What is this called? Oh, you guys, I don't know. I don't know what they're called. Pony? No, maybe it's Clutch? No, it is Lush. It's called Lush. Um, I'm going to kind of put that on the outer corners a little bit. I honestly don't know what I'm doing, but I'm taking this like darker burgundy shade and just putting it a little bit on the outer corner. I hope this comes together. Okay, I'm gonna move on to mascara because that's all I'm doing on my eyes. I never do anything crazy. Well, you did two shadows, right? Yeah, I used the, it actually looks really good. I was telling Britta, I was like, oh, I've never done this combination with that like dark peach shadow and that chocolate eye pencil kind of blended together. It looks really good. I like it. And that pencil's only $7 and it performs really well and it's like EWG certified natural, so very impressed. Okay, for mascara, I'm wearing the Maybelline The Falsies Lash. Like, this was something I purchased, like, back in March, um, right? It was our last Target trip before quarantine started. Um, and I've repurchased since online, and I love it. It's a really good mascara. Okay, I just put the cream from the Ilia palette um, on my lid. Put some of that purple shade on the lower lash line. So now I'm moving on to mascara as well. You guys know I have a pretty high maintenance mascara routine. I still use the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer, and then I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Skinny Mascara on my lower lash line, and then I'm going to use the Balm Mad Lash on my lashes. That is a lot. You use this those mascara products too. good? It's just a really nice mm -hmm. mascara. It doesn't make your lashes, it like definitely volumizes, but it's not as thick as L'Oreal Lash Paradise, which I do still love that mascara. Yeah, that's still my favorite. I'm just trying to use up mascaras that I have. Yeah, but because this isn't as thick, it doesn't like, I don't know, it looks more natural, I'd say, which I really like. Because, to be honest, every day during quarantine, even if I put on, like, almost a full face of, like, light makeup, I haven't been wearing mascara. No, me either. Because it's just the one product that, like, really affects my eyes, especially with allergy season, and if I'm just going to be home, like, I don't want to put it on. I've actually kind of gotten used to that look. I watched one of Jamie Page's video where she didn't wear mascara and people just like came for her and were like, really? How can you not wear mascara? Well, yeah, during and it looks really pretty and I think that sometimes it looks really pretty. I mean, I love mascara so much because I, we've always had long lashes. Yeah. Um, and so I just like to accentuate them. But yeah, during quarantine, there's kind of no point when it irritates my eyes throughout the day. Like, why yeah. even bother? Okay, you guys, I'm moving on to brows, and you know we have been absolutely, absolutely obsessed with the Patrick Ta Brow Wax. So now you can see us use it in action. You're using it today too, right? Yes, and just not there yet. I also have the Patrick Ta Brow Brush, but you don't need this. You can just use what you have. So first, I like to brush them up. <clears throat> oh yeah, we do it different, so um, you guys can see that. Oh, we do? Well, because you don't even use pencil, right? No, I don't. No, I do. Although, I really should because I did start, like, replucking my eyebrows. Since really? We, yeah, a little bit. And I, like, have these hairs that go straight out right in the front here. So I plucked them out because they just never lay down flat and it just looked worse and it looked good. Um, but now, like, I have, like, no hair there. So I feel like I should be filling it in a little bit. But you know what? We don't have to. So I'm going to spritz MAC Fix Plus into the product. Um, then you just take the brush and you kind of go back and forth while it's wet and then it doesn't really really matter I, what eye I start with. I just brush my brows up. 
Um, I usually don't dip back in right away. Like I'll just do that one and then go to the other side. I also feel like I look super shiny still even though I powdered. So on camera I probably look even more shiny. But I swear in person my face isn't like too bad. I mean it's shiny. That Elia Skin Tint is dewy. Ugh, this product is so good you guys. Like it is truly like brow lamination in a product. Look at how nice this mascara is. I just forget. Yeah, it's good. Actually, sometimes I go back in and get more product, but I actually don't think I need it today. I feel like, I mean, you can feel this product, so you can kind of like feel it in your brow hairs. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think I need it. Okay, and that's really all I do. It's really simple, and I love it. This product is amazing. It's the best. <laughs> best brow product to ever be made. I can show you guys how I do it. So I'm gonna put a I use, cover. you guys know, the CoverGirl brow pencil is like my ride or die at this point. So my eyebrows are like pretty full in the front, but then as you can see, they're like pretty sparse on the edges. So I brush them up with a spoolie just on the brow pencil. I might need this mirror. Hopefully you can see this. And then I just like really lightly fill in more of the sparse areas, mainly because I just wanna see like I don't want to put the brow lamin what is it brow wax down and then you can't really pencil on top of it at least that's been my experience um, and you can kind of like fill in but it's just not going to look as natural I feel like if you do it first again just my experience maybe I'm using like too much of the wax so I kind of just fill in there and then just like a little bit in the front but ever so lightly like barely anything more so in the front on this side because I have less hair. Um, so I'm lining my lips with the Victoria Beckham Lip Definer in the shade 2. Um, I talked about this multiple times. I really like this. It's like the same exact tone as my lips, um, just deeper. So I feel like it's the most natural lip liner I own on myself and it blends out really beautifully. I'm, I prefer pencil lip liners. Uh, I know that's not the case for everyone, like sharpenable pencils, they just work the best for me. Um, but yeah, I know not everyone feels that way. But if you like wooden pencils, highly recommend this. I know it's expensive, but I actually lost it and I repurchased it and oh, I and it's paid clean, for shipping right? and everything. It is clean um, because I just needed it back in my life. And then I saw this in my drawer and we bought this and raved about it and then I kind of forgot about it so I'm going to use it. It's MAC Yash lipstick. I still wear it all the time. I I guess I just haven't been wearing lipstick so oh. we haven't really like left the house. And I remember this combo was like the best so. Okay so I just put the wax through my brows. Um, again they don't look that great right now. I'm getting them done in like a week. Um, so I'm kind of trying to let them grow out. And then I'm just going to go clean up that mascara. I'm actually going to like kiss my hand to get some of that excess product off. Okay, voila, I'm done. What do you guys think? Do you like this look? Well, one second, I'm not done. It's okay. Um, I just want to make sure all that mascara is gone. This one's not bad at getting on the lid too bad. Okay, I'm going to use MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. I tried and true. Hopefully it looks okay at this eye. Like, I actually love this eyeshadow. I know. I kind of did the opposite too. I feel like my lips are a tad more cool tone than the rest of my face, but I think it works. It's really all in the same family, like bronze nude. So it's like what we love. Very 90s. A strip down. It is it's so the best. good. It is so good. I'm mad we didn't purchase it. You know, we say that all the time. But I know. For years, we were purchasing things from MAC and had no idea they just had this amazing lip liner. It's like the only one I wear now. You would like this Victoria Beckham one too. Yeah, are my eyes weird with this? Whatever, I don't care. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. And then I'm going to use the Patrick Ta lipstick in the shade Oshi oh, Single. This new so is pretty. so pretty. The formula is very reminiscent of the, what is it called? Lisa Eldridge. Lisa Eldridge. They're basically, ident not identical, yeah, but they're also really similar to the Pat McGrath. 
that okay. lipstick that I have raved about. My Lisa Eldridge broke twice and I cannot no longer use it. So this has been a happy replacement. It's a really beautiful nude. I know you won't be able to see like the true color because I have a lip liner under it, but just trust me when I say this is a beautiful stunning nude. Our camera stopped recording, but my Pat McGrath powder just dropped and broke everywhere. I'm so upset. Try not to let it get to me because I didn't love it anyways. Um, but we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah. Uh, we used some products like this Tarte Cream Bronzer that I love so much. <laughs> Haven't shown you on camera. Yeah. I mean, everything we use I think we love besides that Pat McGrath powder. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, this is kind of like a current favorite. Mm -hmm. But also just want to show you and do our makeup. <laughs>